Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Sam Keynes of Blue Ocean Nutrisciences. How are you today, Sam? Great, thank you. How are you, Tracy? Sam, Blue Ocean is very interesting to me. Your stock has been moving beautifully. It's been actually gliding since I met you. And what I would love is for you to introduce our audience to what Blue Ocean Nutrisciences is, because you're relatively new for us. Well, uh, be delighted, thank you. Um, not new for me. I've uh, been with the origin of this company for 10 years, and last three years we have focused all our energy and finances on developing the world's first shrimp oil, which is superior to krill and far superior to fish oil in its composition and benefits to the human body, brain, eyes, and heart. Okay, so basically, just tell me more. I mean, I had Dr. Duchesne has written two stories about you already. We've had tremendous feedback about it. And he said that your latest news release uh, about restarting this algae gas infusion subsidiary is going to be virtually no cost to you and allow you to tap into three big markets. Can you tell us what he means by that? Uh, first of all, the shrimp oil we manufacture is extracted from the shells of residual waste after cooking and peeling shrimp in Newfoundland. Those are pristine waters up there and the shrimp all eat the algae we're focused on attempting to grow. Namely, astaxanthin based HP algae and omega-3 algae and what we're selling today is in fact omega-3 and astaxanthin from the same algae. It just happens to be eaten and caught by the shrimp that we're extracting the oil from. Why gas infusion is that's the origin of the company. We IPO'd five years ago with Macquarie. We raised three and a half million dollars to develop uh, opportunities in the then booming algae world, uh, which subsequently collapsed, where proven commercial gas infusion technology rights were given to the company in the IPO to stimulate accelerated algae growth that no others could do by dissolving CO2 bubbles so small they do not come out of water, and that's exactly how algae eat them. So, uh, by doing so, we proved we could triple the growth rates of algae with the National Research Council Algae Labs in Sandy's Cove, Nova Scotia, for over two years before we went to IPO markets. So uh, Luke and I went back and forth. He wanted to put astaxanthin. Is that pronounced properly it in is. the title? He thinks it's a miracle antioxidant. Can you, some of us are not up to speed on astaxanthin. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure. It's been called the king of the carotenoids. It is the top of the food chain. There are zeaxanthin, lutein's, uh, beta carotenes, which are the bottom of the food chain of the great carotenoids. Beta carotenes, what you find in carrots, is the orange in carrots. It's an antioxidant. The lutein's you see in the shells of Bosch and Loam's eye drops, for instance, are in fact a junior carotenoid. Astaxanthin simply happens to be the most powerful on the planet, with the greatest amount of antioxidants that. Mankind so far is found in a natural or organism. All right. For those of us who are interested shareholders or are interested in getting more involved in Blue Ocean, can you tell us how you translate this magic pill or antioxidant into revenue for your shareholders? Sure. Um, first of all, we uh, uh, by extracting this shrimp oil, which is 40 times more concentrated in astaxanthin, than other uh, fish oils, which have none, and krill, which has some, and wild Alaskan salmon also has some. Um, the value of astaxanthin is 100 times more expensive than omega-3 in commercial markets. And we're literally giving away that premium advantage to penetrate the market today, which is about a billion dollars a year for krill products. It's four billion dollars a year for fish oil products. And our capacity in Newfoundland with the amount of residual materials we believe we can source on a permanent basis will be about $300 million a year. So Sam, what should shareholders anticipate as the next milestones for Blue Ocean in say the next two quarters? Sales. Sales to big box chains and uh, delivery is only in this September and typically big box chains only have six month resets for new product introductions. And it's typically April and uh, October when the World Supplement Trade Shows are, are on in California and Las Vegas. We'll be at both here in the next six to 12 months. We've been in previous sessions. And you should expect to see press releases on big box chain stores taking up our product. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much, Tracy, for having me.